everybody. Thank you for joining us, and we're going to get right into it. We are talking about today, when do you know enough is enough? <laughs> when, when do you say it's time to move on in a relationship? And that relationship can be anything, right? It could be someone we're dating, someone we're married to, or that relationship might be your job because that's a relationship too. Don't you? Mm-hmm. That's a relationship too, right? That's, that's definitely true. <laughs> Anything that takes up your time, right? Yes. Oh, my God. Anything you are relating with, Mm -hmm. you are, you know, having a connection with. So, but before we go on, we would love for you to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of new videos. And again, we thank you for this time and sharing this space with us. So, let's get into it. Yes. All right. So, uh, for you, babe, how do you know when enough is enough where you've been in a certain situation for so long Mm -hmm. and it's something within you is uncomfortable Mm -hmm. you're constantly irritated you're frustrated you're just not happy and sometimes we think the situation or or the the relationship that we're in is supposed to make us happy Mm. you know but um well first of all i um i mean you you said it right there when you're with you feeling uncomfortable and and that's going to be sometimes right you know we're we're not going to be feeling or we're going to have moments unha- of not being happy right? right but the thing is when you're having too much of that because mm-hmm. <laughs> you know um yes i believe in balance but that's something that you don't want to be balanced you will want um not only the happy moments but the joyous moments because that's a little bit deeper that kind of like right. they're really like his shit your soul mm. you want that more than the unhappy moments you want that more than the irrit- yes. to irritability yes. <laughs> yes. you know of being irritable moments that's that's when i believe you you know because we should be um consistently or constantly um reassessing our lives right and in that because it is constantly changing yes yes yes, because just like we're middle-aged people seasoned people we like to say we're seasoned not old right (laughs) because we don't believe again oh we believe in aging well aging gracefully right because you have to welcome being going up in age increasing in age but Mm -hmm. when you say you're old just make it sound like Decrepit. Right. Thank you. Like <laughs> yes. we need to be thrown in a garbage or something. Right. And I'm not ready to go in the garbage. No. So, um, yeah. So I, I believe we should consistently reassess um, our lives. Right. So when you're consistently reassessing your life, you need to con- uh, reassess the life that you're sharing with somebody else. So you you said it perfectly. When you are feeling that irri- uh, irritable moment or moments. A little bit too much, you need to uh, sit down, have a conversation with yourself, and have a conversation with that person. Right. Yes. And that's what I was going to bring up because one of the reasons the frustration comes is that we're not having a conversation, Mm. you know, with Mm. uh, the individual or the situation or the bosses, the girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever the situation is, whatever Mm. the relationship is. Having a honest, true discussion Mm -hmm. is uh, one of the things that you can do to help promote change, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And but the difficult thing is is that when you do have the conversation, and it seems like the situation has not changed, Mm -hmm. and it's been you've been in this situation for so long. I mean, for years and years, because I can relate. I, I I was in a situation where. You know, it, it, it was it was just a long time of just being frustrated and, you know, but we get so accustomed and used to these things. We get it. Mm-hmm. We understand, you know, you're not any different from anyone else mm-hmm. that is going through these things. But it's having the courage to do something that you're compelled to do within yourself mm-hmm. that is going to be conducive for you. The growth of you and the growth of the relationship. Yes. Um, and, and also because, uh, you know, your, your demeanor, your energy, your spirit is affecting everything around you. Mm. 
within your inner circle because of the fact mm-hmm. that, that you're frustrated or you're upset That's true. or you're, you're just not at peace. You're not living the fullness of how you're supposed to be living. Mm. And that can make, make you upset. Mm-hmm. I've been there, mm-hmm. you know, um, oh, me too. yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody else, you know, out there. And we're not, you know, telling people to leave and all this stuff like that, but always try to find a solution, always try to find a way to make things happen, you know. Make and it better. Make it better. Um, but I will say this. I, I want to talk a little bit about marriage, okay? As far as um, when someone does not want to change and you want them to change, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's a, that's a big one, mm. you know, that's... Or, or someone is open to trying new things and, you know, discovering. And, and the other one is more set in their ways. Mm. And they're just, you know, they don't want to do anything new. They like to be comfortable right where they're at. And mm. that's fine. But for you, because I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about me. I, I'm not even talking about her. She can only talk about her. I'm talking about me. <laughs> so, like, if I'm not happy in a situation, okay... So let's just say um, I want to go do something that she doesn't enjoy doing, right? Um, I can't make her go, right? And that's, of course, you want to share things together with, with your partner. That's great. And, and the reason I'm telling you this is that if you go and do these things by yourself, okay, it will help promote and induce an example to your significant other mm-hmm. and to where they come from their own volition, their own will. Um, they see you having a good time. They see you being happy. They see you, um, you know, enjoying your life. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where I think we lose the concept of us enjoying our life. Yes. You yes, know, yes, yes. Um, you know, like my wife always uh, says, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's not exist, but let's thrive. I, yes. I, I let's do more than exist. We want to thrive. thrive. Right. Yes. You know, thriving is what it's about. Yes. You know, and, and, and the important thing is to understand the indicators, you know, like she said a little while ago of, you know, when you're frustrated or when you're feeling these things, these emotions are there to tell you. Yes. Something is not right. Mm-hmm. Something needs to change. Mm-hmm. But too many times we want to try to change the situation, but the situation is what it is. Well, you do want to change the situation. We want, often um, people want to change the person. Yeah. But like you said, you change if you want to go and do something. Jane and John Doe are in a relationship, wherever it may be, however they may call a partnership, whether they're dating, whether they're married, or in a couple don't, right? If um John says, Hey Jane, I'm gonna go golfing, and she's like, oh, I want to go golfing, you know, I want to do that. That's fine, John. Bye. Right, John, go and get your <laughs> golf club, live your life. Have fun, right. you yes. know? Yes. And, and like again, like you said, as he is doing things that brings him joy, mm-hmm. hopefully Jane would feel see that, you know, and want to feel that with him. Mm-hmm. See, often, you know, it's it's more than oh yes, you should have fun. You should continue continue to date your partner, right? You know, and, and why are you doing that? Because like we stated before we are growing, we are maturing, and as we are unfolding, right, as we are going on this life journey, things change. Mm -hmm. And as we change, we're learning how we change within ourselves and how the the relationship is changing. So when we are having fun, we are going on these dates, and we are experiencing each other. So... John even asking Jane to go golfing with him. Deep down, I'm believing what is being said or, or asked of her is, come experience this with, with me. With me. I want you to feel this. Yes, exactly. This makes me feel good, Jane. Yes. I know yes. you. it don't make no sense to you when I hit that little ball and you think it's a waste <laughs> of time. <laughs> but I love it, you know, Jane. So come, you know, experience this with me. Yes. Experience this with me yes and you know when jane understands that 
She was like, okay, let me go out there with John sometimes. Yes, At least once, yes. once, in, once, in a, once in a while, once in a while. And I would hope that John would do the same thing for her. So, again... Um, I think that's what makes us upset. Mm-hmm. The, mm. fact, the fact that yep. if you know this makes me happy, yeah. Oh, yeah. why are you not willing Ooh. to want to make me happy? Mm-hmm. And be happy be, with me. And be happy... Well, <laughs> well it's, it's, it's not even because, you know, a selfless relationship is not just about yourself. It's about the other individual, yes, right? Yeah. So if you see something that makes your spouse happy mm-hmm. or your your friend or your partner, whoever, it makes them happy. Sometimes we do things out of the kindness of our heart and say, you know what? I'm going to spend some time with her today because I know she enjoys that mm-hmm. or he enjoys mm-hmm. that. And mm-hmm. I'm just going to hang out with him today mm-hmm. to let him know that I care about his feelings yes. or her feelings. Yes. But when we see that not happening, we get, yeah, that's when we get really, that's really what we, th- that frustration is saying. Yes. Yes. Like I'm mad because this person don't want to be happy with me. They don't want to be happy <laughs> for me. Right. Right. <laughs> they don't want to be happy with me, you know? Yeah. So come and, ride the happy train. It's right. like you're trying to say. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> and I know it's 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 tough sometimes, mm-hmm. but that's when, like I said before, you go do you, mm-hmm. and hopefully he'll catch on that that what train? Oh, she, oh, the or happy she, train, the, the happy jo- train, or the joy train. So when they see you being happy, <laughs> and I posted this on Live Beyond, and I know some people didn't really understand this, that when you're happy, other people around you become happy. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm not saying all the time because right, right, there's right. times when you're happy and someone's not, they're going through stuff, they're not going to be happy. Because they have lots of blocks. Right. You know? But if they see you always having joy and experiencing a good time and, and you got stuff to talk about and you're saying something new and you're there like, you know, they might look at you crazy for a little while, you know, but that's okay. That's the beginning of something new, right? Mm-hmm. But I guarantee you, in time, they're going to be like, what, what's all that happiness that right. they dream yeah, yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. You let, know. Me peek, let me pull my binoculars. Let me right. zoom in. They'll, see what's they'll going catch on. on <laughs> you know? And that's how you start to change the relationship. Mm-hmm. You know? um, but as far as like a job, um, sometimes you can go talk to the supervisors, you can go talk to management. You know, I don't like this treatment, blah, blah, blah. But they're not willing to change, mm-hmm. right? Mm hmm. But you have a will to change your surroundings yes. and do something different. Mm-hmm. Go somewhere else, do something different. Mm-hmm. It's like, but it's your choice. But we get mad at the situation, you know, and, and it's it's like you cannot be mad at that because that or the person or the no, no, I'm, mm-hmm. no, because this this particular because we just talked about a person, but mm-hmm. this time I'm talking about a situation mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like a job, mm-hmm. you know, that's a situation, but you or your environment or where you live or where you know, griping and complaining and being upset, and you know, sometimes it comes out in our behavior mm-hmm. unknowingly, mm-hmm. you know, we don't know why we're frustrated, but then we really do, mm-hmm. you know, so it's it's kind of like not getting awareness of why am I really feeling frustrated and upset? Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you deep down into this truth, it'll start to uproot mm-hmm. and, and, you know, kind of like put light on it and you kind of set yourself free with it. Like, this is why I'm so angry. Mm-hmm. This is why I'm frustrated. This is why I mistreat other people. Mm. This is why I'm not kind. Cause hurt people hurt people. Yes. I mean, that's, uh, that's even emotionally hurt people. You know, or emotional hurt wants because everything that comes in wants to, to pour out. It's trying to figure out how to process. So if you're not aware or you don't have understanding of how to um, transform, change that shift, that energy into something positive for yourself, which like Dino said, it pours into others. It Then you, you will, as you are hurting and you're not dealing with that hurt, it will go into somebody else. And I think, you know, again, so we're talking about when it's enough, enough. Um, and, yeah, it's easy to point the finger at somebody else. It's so easy to point the finger at somebody That's else. That's true. But at some point, why are we pointing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> at some point, you had, like they say, you got these three fingers pointing back to you, yes. But at some point, you have to say, okay, it's enough of me 
being mad at the person because the situation ain't changing. Like you said, you're complaining, you're complaining. And I don't believe in complaining. I believe in, yes, addressing the situation, addressing the problem or the issue. Because I believe there's a difference between issues and problems. See, issues are, you know, which we all going to have, right? Issues are is when something, there isn't indifference, right? But when you are, or when it's not changing, it's not shifting for the better of yourself, mm -hmm. and it, if it includes other people, then it becomes a problem. It's like, you know, the mountain from a molehill type of thing. You, when we say, when we vent, hey, I, I didn't like this, Jane. Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't like mm -hmm. this, John, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're saying that I want to, or you should be saying, expressing that I want to change this for the better of me, the better of us. Mm -hmm. We change the situation. Right. This changes the relationship. It grows the relationship. Yes. But if you're resistant to the change, mm -hmm. it gets worse. Again, it goes from an issue to a problem. And that's when, again, we have to go to ourselves. You can't blame that person because they're not willing to change. No. Like you said earlier, um, John asked and Jane, oh, I want to go, um, I want you to go to uh, the golf course with me. No, no, no. And John just sits there and never goes. And he's mad, you know, frustrated and in resentment. And it's because, oh, because she won't go. She won't go with me. Go. Right. Go to make do what you need to do to make yourself feel better. And if she is willing again to have to ride the joy train with you, so be it. But when it comes to, you know, saying that the relationship, however it may be, um, whether it be marriage again with a job or um, a marriage, you have to, you know, assess your, on your own time, right? That. Is my irritability, my frustrations too much for me? Is this, you know, because you should be growing, right? And as you grow individually, it should be pouring into the relationship. If you are growing, this is for myself. I, I believe that we are on our individual journeys, right? And that we're not meant to like, like everything the same. I mean, we are a couple. We bring different things to the table, to the relationship, when we have things that's different, a good difference, right? So if you like the um, golf, which Dino does, and I like and to... And she keeps using that word over and over again. <laughs> but, but I love that he loves golf. That's yeah. something that is not one of my favorites, but if that's his favorite, then, then so be it. Um, so we bring these differences to add or to one another, mm -hmm. right? But... And, but there can, can come a time where you grow so far apart mm -hmm. where you're not trying to spend time with each other. And again, like we said earlier, you're not trying to experience each other. Yeah. Then yes, you should sit, have a sit down with yourself and of course sit down with your mate and say, okay, where's this going? Right. Where's this growing? That's the biggest question. Right. Where's this growing? Cause it's not, it's we're, we're, we've been the same. For the last 10 years, because as we, the seasons change, they shift, we should be shifting. And I believe in a healthy, the healthier of the relationship is how healthy um, of, of how much you are adding to each other. And you, I would hope that you will see things differently years that pass, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know for, for me, uh, uh, I was in a relationship where it was it, it extended longer than what it should have, and there was frustrations in it. There was things going on, um, and when it dissolved, it brought about new opportunities, mm -hmm. and and not to blame either person. You know, I can't blame that person or myself. It's just where we were in that moment, mm -hmm. um, but. You know, without that, this new experience would not have happened, right? And and I say this because sometimes we have so much fear of you know trying something new or letting the the old die to let the new come in. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big step. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's mm -hmm. difficult. It's I'm not saying it's easy. Uh, was it painful? Yes. Um, but 
we have to continue on and and live day by day and have faith and just yeah. keep moving forward because um otherwise I would have been in that state for another 30 40 years probably yeah. you know do, do, and 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 I say this because you know us as people we we fluctuate sometimes mm -hmm. we're happy sometimes we're not you know sometimes we are sometimes so you have to be careful you know I'm talking about when you're when it's just so bad mm -hmm. that there's no there's no fixing it there's no you know what am I you know it's time to go I mean that's just um in my personal ex you know experience you know well it makes me think of you know like how they not saying that people are like cars but um there's a fender bender versus you know an insurance company might okay we, we this can be fixed but then there's unfortunate times right where the car needs to be totaled out uh oh <laughs> where there's there's nothing they're like hey you know you could take because dino know because he's you know he does painless dent repair but he's also familiar with um how you know body work on a car and he he would tell he'll be honest with his you know many it's his beyond him. being salvageable yes Yes. That's I think that's what you're trying to say. Yeah. It's like it's way past the threshold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it cannot be fixed. You mm -hmm. need a new vehicle. Yeah, and, and that's not a bad thing, right? It's yeah. not a bad no. thing, you know. It's but it's the 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 thinking that mm -hmm. you know you think like, oh my God, um, what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. I gotta get a you know this. New I gotta thing. get a new car. <laughs> right. I gotta get a new car, and then all of a sudden I'm you're used to that car, right? <laughs> Even though it break down on me every weekend, <laughs> then all of a sudden you're like, "This car is nice." I should have, I should have got a got a new car a long time ago. Right, and and, and, oh, I, and we're not saying yeah. we're not saying to break up yeah. a relationship to be with somebody else because I don't care what nobody right. says. You don't, you know what's the the phrase? Get over somebody by getting under somebody. I personally don't believe in that. Why? Because you need some time. You yeah. need some time to. Be with yourself, process your emotions, cause a breakup is is it can be hard, it can be challenging. I should say, take some time to you know heal from that. Though healing is a process before linking up with somebody else. Cause if not, you're pouring all your hurt into them. I mean, you know, sometimes or often we don't learn nothing just by. And I know people else. at at our season age, um, we're used to being. A certain type of way yeah. you know these these younger kids younger generation they like you know they they buy new cars if you know what I mean they buy new cars left and right <laughs> you know so f even for me on a religious aspect um, I stayed in it because spiritual. yeah you, you know uh, now when I became spiritual it, it, it just looked different mm. and because we're, we're, we're taught um, I got to stay in this because of a religious aspect That's of it. That's your religious belief, yeah. But the spiritualness of it mm. is love. Yes. Is selflessness, is empathy, mm -hmm. is compassion, mm -hmm. is, is you know, being mindful of someone else. Mm -hmm. On the surface, religiously, the... I uh, got to just... Yeah, it was, it was there. Can't get divorced. But can't break up. internally the deeper eternal things were not there. Mm -hmm. And that's really what was, um, you know, why it dissolved because mm -hmm. it was not there. Mm -hmm. But once, you know, you were set free from that, it's like, and then I found this, I found a Ferrari, <laughs> you know, so it's like, okay, this is a nice vehicle. This is, this is what I've always wanted. And, you know, you had mentioned earlier, because I know I'm getting a little bit off, but I want to go back to what she mentioned about dating, mm -hmm. right? It's also good to date with other couples. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about good couples. Okay? You know, I'm not talking about, you know, where, um, you know, where we're out of pocket. Because how we um, conduct ourselves... Mm -hmm. It, it gives you a contrast. Have, have, and, and, and I know you, you probably have gone out with other couples or other people, and you're like, man, our relationship is good. <laughs> you know, we, we got it good. And then there's other times where you're like, we need some work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, but if you don't have a contrast or, or, you know, go out and meet new couples and do new things, 
you have nothing to compare to. Yeah. And and when you said dating one another, that's the whole reason of, of dating, of learning how to conduct yourself when you're one on one and with your with other people. Mm-hmm. You know, and that helps promote things. And sometimes this is why people don't like to date with other couples mm-hmm. because they don't want to be exposed. Mm-hmm. They don't want, you know, a, a certain type of behavior or things, whether it's good or bad, mm-hmm. you know, so just keep me right where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to see all this. I ain't trying to, don't put no light on me. You know, I don't, don't want to grow. I don't want to grow, <laughs> you know, and that's, that's, you know. which good and bad is defined differently with everybody. Right. You know, and like Dino said, I think it's, it's healthy. You know, we have play dates for children, um, and to teach them how to be social, right? Mm-hmm. Adults should have the same thing. Right. So you can learn not to be social, not only with your mate, your partner, however that may be, girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, but learn to be social with other yes. adults. Social. That's, that's, yeah. part, that's part of maturing. Right. That's part, you know, and, and let me say this. <clears throat> you can clear my throat. <laughs> There's a difference between being an adult mm. and being a grown up. Mm-mm. Because an adult is anybody that's in the US, for the most part, anybody that's over 21, they have just put their toe over the other side of being an adolescent, right. being a child. Okay? They're considered an adult. They can legally sign a document, they can buy a house, they can hold down a full time job. But a grown up is somebody that is consistently growing, mm-hmm. maturing. So when we say middle age, that is just age, right? Why I like to say season because we, I believe in allowing the seasons to help change you, help form you into something new. The reason why I know we living in South Florida now, but the reason why the leaves will fall. We will have it though. We have fall season, spring season, you know, throughout the world, right? But in the Midwest, the leaves will leave, fall off, so the new leaves can come. Mm-hmm. That's part of the maturation of that mm-hmm. tree. Mm-hmm. If you're not allowing those old leaves to die, yeah. you're not allowing yourself to become new. Okay. <clears throat> All right. There I go with that. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, we... And it should be the same in your relationship. Right. It, it should always be re- renewing. I yes. mean, that's... Yes. That's a... Uh, you mm-hmm. know, luckily for, for me now, uh, I am open, you know, and, and openness to life invites new things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it mm-hmm. invites uh, new experiences, new... Just new new teachings, you know. It, it's, it's just learning to be open. That's, yes. You know, but if... The situation doesn't want to open, mm-hmm. and you're open. Um, you need to go on and get what you need to get, and mm. that's what's best for you. You know, on your joy train, not on a selfish type of way, right, but on right. a way where where you're looking for more in life. Yes, because time is going by so fast. Ooh wee! And it's <laughs> you know, it's it's you know we don't have time to waste. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why I brought that up because, um, you know, about what I went through because a lot of time had passed by. Mm-hmm. And you don't want that time to pass by and then you live in regret. Mm-hmm. You know, that's... And then you're going to really be kicking yourself, in, you know, in the in the bootay, you know, because, you know, you didn't follow what you knew you wanted yes. to do. Yes, and what was best for you. That's and it. it's okay to do what's best for you. You know, we have been taught, especially our age group, right? Hello, middle-aged people. Come on here, raise your hands. I know y'all out there. And leave us, in, you know, in the comments. You know, if you don't mind sharing some of the things that, you know, you are trying to retrain yourself, you know. And one of those beliefs or one of those teachings was, you know, to put everybody else before you, mm-hmm. right? But if we constantly put everybody before us, then... What about self? Because you, you know, I know they, <laughs> this, this might sound cliche, but you are important. Yes, yes you yes. matter. We all are. Yes, you, your feelings matter. Your life matters. 
you know, I, I, I share this story with you. You know, Dino talks about time. Time is what? Not waiting for us? No. Time and been if that if time train said you need to be here at 101 and you get there at, at, at 1 o'clock and thinking you just going to step on that train and it said no. As soon as 101 change, 101 p.m., a.m., whatever, and it leaves, it's, it's leaving. Time mm-hmm. is not waiting for that's something that you cannot get back, you all. Yep. You can always get money back. You can always get these material possessions and all this other stuff and fluff down here back, but we cannot get back time. It makes me think, and I tell people about this all the time. There was a patient of mine um, just some years ago, and I was working in an assistant living facility, um, and <laughs> I used to love seeing her. She's just like bright my day. And I was looking for her to be at this certain place, uh, um, table, at this certain time. <laughs> but she went away from me. She was somewhere else. So mm-hmm. I went to go look for her. I went and I went I went into her room. She was looking out the window. And, you know, when, when I came in, I was just like kind of staring at her for a while. Because I was like, wow, she just like, you know, it's like she's like thinking about something. She's staring down into the window. So I asked her. So what do you, you know, what's going on? She was like, you know, she at this time she was way plus 80 years old, close to 90. Mm-hmm. And she shares with me, she was like, you know, she was like, I remember when I was younger, um, I was told, you know, go get married, have some kids. I got married, I had some kids, and there was different things that I wanted to do in my life. And people was like, oh, you got time to do that later. But it was always something I had to do with the kids, with the husband, with the job and family and so on. She was like, and here it is. I'm at this certain age, 80 plus, almost 90. And I can't do none of that. And I haven't done most of the things that I wanted to do in my life. Right. And though, are are we going to get a chance to do everything that comes past Mm -hmm. or through our our minds? No. (laughs) But much of it, you all... Those, again, those things that put you on that joy train mm-hmm. that makes you feel joy. Because I'm going to tell you something, you know. So I, I teach about holistic living, right? Mm-hmm. And in that, it is positively feeding, nurturing mind, body, emotions, and spirit, right? But at the seat of the mind and the body, which the spirit loves, is for us to have great emotions. And one of the greatest emotions you can ever have is is joy and when we have joy your body feels it i I promise you could take your blood pressure Mm -hmm. when you're not in a joyous moment versus a joyous moment and you could see a big difference because when you're not feeling joy you are stressed out and we all know what Mm -hmm. stress brings stress brings disease it brings chaos in the body so again the reason why we are saying to reassess your life and the life you might be sharing with somebody else because you are not having enough joyous moments is because it's not even conducive to your well-being. It's not conducive to your physical health, your mental health, and your spirit. Our spirits are blocked when we're not uh, feeling joy because when we are joy or feeling um, moments of joy, it opens us up and it allows our spirit to flow and then let the greatest spirit of all, which is a divine to flow through us. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So basically, you know, the for for me is the obedience, mm-hmm. listening to yourself mm-hmm. and obeying what you want to do yes. that makes you feel good. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and overcome the fear of it, overcome mm-hmm. uh, the unknowing of it. Just do what you've been called to do yes. in your life. Yes, please. And you will. You will be surprised what transpires. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only will you change, but the people around you will will change, and uh, your life in general. Yeah, in general a, as a whole, you know, mm-hmm. and and be patient. Be yeah. be patient with with people. You know, when you're uh, going through this change process, or they're going through a change process, it's not going to happen overnight. Mm-hmm. Just be patient, but and always commend even a little change that you see in somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, pump them up. Be 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 their cheerleader. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> that's what they need to yeah. promote more change, mm-hmm. and you kind of gain momentum, and then it all works out. Mm-hmm. You know, 
So we thank you for joining us tonight mm -hmm. or today, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it is. But we thank you for being here yes. and watching the Live Beyond show with us. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Till the next time, Live Beyond. And we wish you all well.